YouTube, what's popping with my people? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Marlon the Messenger, 777-888. All right, you guys. So hopefully you guys are feeling blessed and not worried about the stress. I know you guys are having a beautiful blessed day because we giving all the glory and the praise to our Lord up above, Jesus Christ, who blesses us with another beautiful day, you guys. All right, so with no further ado, we are gonna go ahead and dive into this video like an Olympian swimmer. So today's video, you guys, a quick disclaimer. I want you guys to understand this, fellas. I am not making this video for you to chase women. This is just me sharing my stories with you guys to stay up on your grind, my boys. Stay up on your grind, my bros. Stay up on your grind, my broskies. Because the women are swimming and looking for the man that's winning. All right, you guys. So with no further ado, today's video is going to be about female attraction stories. Now, before I go ahead and get into this video, you guys, I need you guys to do me a huge favor. I need you guys to do me a huge favor and go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that like button right now, like a video game controller button, like you trying to just hit that code to upgrade that level of whatever you trying to unlock. You know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, so I have a few female attraction stories for you guys, because I want you guys to be aware and beware of the attraction that you will receive while retaining your seed. All right, you guys. So, man, I got a story for y'all. All right, so let's go ahead and start in the gym. All right, so one night I was going to the gym, right, you guys? I'm in there pumping that iron. I'm in there getting it in. Staying focused, staying stoic like we always do. And it was a good night, you guys. I'm not going to lie. Went in there, did my weights, did my cardio like I usually do. So I go up to the pull-up bar, you guys. Now, let me remind you, I'm already walking up to the pull-up bar. I already know what I'm finna do. I'm finna get a couple sets, couple reps, give it my best, and then I'm in and out like animal fries. You know what I'm saying? For those who know what in and out is, you know what I mean. But yeah, so I go up to this pull-up bar, you guys. I'm hitting some pull-ups, I'm hitting some pull-ups. I get down, and then all of a sudden I'm looking this way, right? I can already see there's a young Jessie who already is ready and she's looking my way. She got the fake eyelashes on. She got the makeup on, you guys, in the gym with some booty shorts on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she going for the kill. Little Jezebel know the drill. She ain't playing around, y'all. So she looked me directly in my eyes like, oh, yeah, he got that juice. I'm walking over there. So she comes up right next to me on the machine right next to me, right? So I'm doing pull-ups without any assistance. She's on the assistance machine that helps you where you put your knees on, you can put the selective weight to add less resistance to you doing some pull-ups. It helps you build your strength as you're trying to you know, build your way up to do normal pull-ups. So you guys, I am working out right next to her. I'm doing pull-ups the whole time. She's doing pull-ups slowly up and slowly down. She's looking right at me and she's not looking around, bro. She's right here doing these pull-ups so slow, slow, easy, but at the same time, so imagine this, she's like this. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, this is all I see, you guys. <laughs> this is all I see for the quarter of my eye. And she just watching me the whole time, you guys. You already know she's going to feel that glow. But I stayed in my masculine frame, you guys. I already knew what she was trying to do. So I just stayed calm, cool, collective. And I didn't even pay it no mind, you guys. I just, I was thanking God Almighty above, like, Jesus, thank you for giving me the spiritual discernment so I can be able to stay strong along this journey. Because, guys, the women are going to test you. When God wants to bless you, that's when the women want to test you. So she's all dolled up, bro. Like she going to the party at the club, y'all. I mean, I, I was kind of baffled. I'm like, man, I, I mean, did she come to work out or did she come to do a little dancing? Because she was suited and booted and ready to recruit him. You know what I'm saying? So that was just one story, you guys. Mind you, I didn't even pay no mind. I stayed on my grind, stayed grizzly, stayed, on, stayed busy. 
and I just moved on, you know, to the next workout. Now I'm in another area, you guys. There's two young tenderonies looking at your homie. So I'm working out, you know, you know how I do, y'all. I wear my tank top, I wear my beanie. I just keep it old school. I keep it normal. We don't go in there to show off. We don't go in there to look cute and try to come in here and impress anybody. We just come to get that money. We come to get them gains, baby. So I'm in there, right, you guys? And there's two little tender ronies looking at your homie. They're with, she's with, they're with two other guys as well. So I'm working out. And then I asked one of them, like, oh, excuse me, are you using this machine? And she looks at me. She's like, oh, hmm no she smiles at me right with the little hmm, no i'm like okay i already feel the vibe she already feel the glow from your bro then i work out on that machine so then i go to another area and then as i'm working out in that area her friend is on a machine complete uh facing completely opposite of me so her back is to me and as i'm working out over here this is all she's doing the whole time while she's working out she's doing legs right on the leg machine She's working out. She's talking to her, her friend, her girlfriend right in front of her. But while I'm over here to the left corner, she's working out and she keeps going like this. Just looking at me, y'all. And then looking back like, and then looking back like this. Bro, the whole time, the whole time, you guys, she was just infatuated with your boy. But like I said, you guys, I already knew what she was trying to do. I just kept thanking God, you know what? Thank you for giving me the self-control, you guys, because semen retention is going to give you self-control. It's going to make you a cool, calm, and collective man in their presence because they know what time it is, you guys. I'm sharing these stories to let you know that women aren't dumb. On a subconscious level, she trying to get you with the devil. So you got to be careful because these jazzies is always ready. And these suckies is always trying to find a man who's feeling lucky. So you got to be careful, y'all. Stay up on your grind. And when all else fails, you got to pivot. All right. So on to the next, you guys. That was just two stories. I have many more I'll share later on with you guys. So now I'm at work, you guys, right? One day I'm training this chick. Mind you guys, bro. Be careful because this chick had a boyfriend. And they're supposed to be like lovey-dovey, close to each other. I always see them come to work together and they're always eating in the lunchroom together, y'all. So just pay attention, y'all. God is going to give you the spiritual discernment to be careful of these demons because they're not playing, y'all. So I'm training her one day, right? And at first it was so weird, right? I knew her before, but I didn't know her like that. So she transfers to my department and then all of a sudden she's like, you know, looking all sad, like lost, like she doesn't know anybody. So she looks, I'm, I'm like straight ahead. So she looks and she's like this and she goes like this and I walk up to her. Right. And she's like, Hey, you, she's like, I remember you. She's like, how you doing? I was like, I'm doing good. She's like, well, how is this department? How is it up here? And I told her, I said, well, this is a department that's going to help you mentally, physically, and, you know, hopefully spiritually, it's going to make you an overall better person. You are going to be a more determined, responsible and just mentally strong person. Because like I said in the past, you guys, we do that vigorous work. I'm talking about 12 hour shifts, hardcore, straight grit, grind, just man, getting down to business. So mind you guys, she already did this little thing, right? So I already knew all right, I got to be careful of this Jezzy because this Jezzy is ready and I'm not going to give her my seed, you guys. And plus, we don't get down like that. You have a boyfriend. We're not looking, but we're just saying we're mindful. You have a boyfriend. How dare you even try to throw that fake game at your boy? Well, I'll tell you why, because these demons don't give a care, y'all. They don't give a rats. You know what? about a man who's retaining they just want to suck your energy because they're an energy vampire you guys so anyways i end up training her right i'm training her she's like wow you're so different the way you train people you just you know i don't know you have this thing about you and i'm like you know i'm just normal you guys i'm like yeah well you know in order to do a good job you have to have you have to be comfortable and have confidence that way you can add more quality to your work so out of nowhere, right, I'm done training this, you know, Jezzy. And then all of a sudden, you know, I'm walking away and she goes like this. Wait, wait, wait. She's like, you're going to leave me? She's like, mm, bruh, 
This is all happening at work, y'all. The same place that her boyfriend is working in a different department, y'all. These women will treat you like a target, y'all. Be careful. So then she gives me that little look. You're going to leave me? Well, who's going to keep me company? And I'm just like, bro, keep in my mind. I'm thinking this. Keep you company. I'm like, man, I see you come to work every single day with your man. Y'all holding hands, y'all kissy, lovey-dovey at the table eating lunch together. And how dare you even sit here and present this nonsense to me? But like I said, y'all, I kept it stoic. I kept it cool, calm, and collective. And you know what I did. I told her, thank you, but no thank you. I got to go ahead and go over here and take care of my business. So on to the next story, you guys. Like I said, you want to have spiritual discernment. These stories are to motivate you to stay away Go the other way, you guys, and stay up on your grind. Keep God first and stay focused on your business. Do not go over there to that nonsense because they will test you while God is trying to bless you. So then another one, you guys. All of a sudden, I have a rough day, you guys. I'm not going to lie. One day it was so bad, right? So bad to the point where I just I couldn't take it. I had to leave work early because when you are on your spiritual journey, you guys, especially with Christ almighty, you will be tested. I mean, man, to the max, a lot of people are going to be intimidated by your energy, but they're going to nitpick and poke at your spirit. So you got to know that these things are coming and stay prayed up, y'all. So long story short, I'm leaving that day, right? I see a group of people that I know is two girls and like uh, three guys. I'm leaving and they're like, oh, what's up, Marlon? Where you going? I'm like, hey, you know what? Today was kind of rough. I got to get out of here. And they were like, oh, really? Well, are you coming back? And I was like, to be honest, I really don't know. But hopefully, you know, we'll see what's up. One of the girls is like, huh, you'll be back, right? Right? She says, you'll be back. And she's all smiling. And then all of a sudden, the, the one of the guys, he's just like, all right, we'll see you later. And then the other girl jumps up, bro. She's like, wait, wait, hold on. Where are you going? And I was like, I'm leaving. She's like, well, are you coming back? And I was like, I don't know. And she's like, well, um, uh, do you have a social media or anything? I go like this, y'all. No, I don't. And she's like, well, um, let me at least get your phone number, bro. She grabs my phone, right? Because my phone is in my hand. She grabs my phone and puts her number in my phone, right? Oh, it's just, just, in, just in case anything happens. Bro, what what on earth is going to happen that you're going to be able to do to help me? I already know that your little Jezebel spirit is trying to is trying to jump up on me like a frog on a lily pad. But I'm not really having that. Oh, no, we're not doing that, y'all. So I already knew what time it was. Right. She put her number in my phone. As I'm walking away, I just told God, Lord, thank you for giving me the spiritual discernment because I already I'm already knowing that the girls see you glowing. And this is not for you to be cocky, arrogant. This is for you to be confident in the power of God. God is going to deliver you through your, through your times of trials and tribulations. So I want you guys to stay strong and remember why you started, you guys. Do not fall back into temptation because I promise you, it's not if, but when you will regret it. As I said in previous videos, it's two pains in life you will have to go through. The pain of regret, which weighs tons, which means that you basically gave up on your dreams, your goals, and God, and all those good things. And then it's the pain of discipline, which means that you will finish strong and you will make it to the top of that mountain, Mount Zion, and you will win and God will bless you because you are being obedient, you guys. So don't forget, you guys, I love you guys. This video was a little bit longer. I wanna keep you guys going longer and stronger on your journey. For all my fellas out there, my broskies, my guys, I love y'all who's watching all across the world. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to drop a comment below. Don't forget to ring that bell notification so we stay connected. Share this video with your mama, your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your brother, your sister. Y'all know my motto. I'm sending y'all peace, love, and blessings. And until next time, peace.